just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to stop short of the load and set my outriggers. Now, I could just drive right in from here, but I really want to demonstrate the use of those outriggers. Good. And I'm just level there. Okay, now, like I said, I'm gonna pick up that blue pellet that's kind of halfway down there. Now, one of the things you have to remember when you drive a telehandler is whatever angle your boom is on, as you extend out, the carriage and the whole lifting assembly is gonna follow that angle. So as I extend out here, you're gonna see that it actually goes up as well. I'm kind of aiming for that uh, blue pallet about six down from the stack there. See how the forks are going up as they travel out? It looks like I'm a bit low there, so I'm just gonna do this. I don't know if my forks are in there, right? Now you see how, look, if I keep going, I'm gonna miss that pallet. I'm gonna go right above it, so I'm gonna have to lower down a bit. There we go, and right in there. Oops, now see how I've engaged. It's a little tricky when you're moving, you know, little pallets like this. Now I also have to be careful here that I don't stab the wall behind. So I'm a little worried about that. I'm not gonna go all the way in. I'm actually gonna tilt, or I'm actually gonna lift up a bit now and tilt the stack there. And I'm gonna retract the boom. Okay, I'm all the way back. I'm gonna lower it down. And I'm gonna get in position and put them on that tall stack just to the left. Now once again, I'm a little higher now. See, I'm gonna stop right there now. It doesn't look like I'm high enough, but remember by the time I extend out there, the uh, whole lifting mechanism is gonna be that much higher up. See now, see how it's going out? It's going up and out. And I think I might just sneak by there. Look at that, not bad, huh? Okay, now I'm just gonna level it out here, or actually tilt forward a bit, because I'm gonna lower it. I think I'm pretty good there. Okay, let's see if I can lower it down. You have to be really careful here. There we go. Now, this is the tricky part. See, now normally if I could just back away with the machine, my forks would come straight out of there, but I'm up on my overhears. I can't move my machine right now. So I have to retract away and out of that load. That means as I retract back, that forks, the forks are gonna come down. Right, so I gotta be really wary of that because I don't want my forks catching. See now they're a little catching already, see that? So I gotta kinda ease it out of there and do a little bit of jimming back and forth here. There you see that? Okay, now I'm good, I'm clear. Okay, like I was mentioning from the cab when we were moving some loads around, uh, something to be really aware of is the angle of that boom when you're moving in and out. If you can imagine the boom when it's straight like so and you extend out, well, the, the forks and carriage or the lifting assembly is gonna go straight out because the boom is straight. But as soon as you go up on an angle like this, when you extend out, you're not only extending away, but you're also traveling upward. So if you have to fit into a, a, an opening in a pallet with big thick forks like this, it can get pretty tricky, right? It's not just because you're you know, not just moving straight in and out, you're moving in at an angle. Now, like I say, I set the outriggers here so that you could see, normally I wouldn't even have to use the outriggers for moving some empty pallets. But uh, if you're set like that on riggers, uh, you have to be very, very clear, aware that you can't necessarily move the machine. So that boom angle is very important and just as important, if not more, when you're coming out of a load. If you wanna get out of that load clean, right? Like I say, if you could just back the machine up, great, you come straight out. But if you're gonna retract, look at the angle of my arm here as if it were a boom. As that comes down, or down, it's, it's coming, lowering onto the pallet, right? So you have to kind of be, well, kind of doing two things at once on the control. You have to be kind of raising the boom and retracting it as you go so that the forks withdraw cleanly. So uh, just a, a real kind of unique thing about operating a telehandler.